everyone. Happy Thursday. It's January 19th, 2017. Wow, already. And we're, um, we'll have a new president tomorrow. So no matter what you think about that, change that. And I'm looking forward to it. But at any rate, I thought today we'd talk about hydroponic broccoli. Uh, you can see I have this um, growing. This actually came out of my son's garden. I took it out the end of November and it was just a little shoot that was coming off the top. I cut it down, put it in some water, rooted it. You can see I've had some nutrient issues, also um, some fading from the LED above, but overall plant looks pretty good and we're getting a really nice flower on the top of that. We're going to be harvesting that soon. I have um, some other pepped uh, broccoli coming that is um, the Italian broccoli. So we'll be starting that from seed and seeing how that might differ from this one that was just rooted from the original plant. Broccoli's really interesting. I don't know um, if you're aware of this. It's part of the, the cabbage family, like um, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Broccoli's much easier, or is, is actually easier to grow. I don't know if it's much easier, but it is an easier uh, plant to grow than cauliflower and broccoli. And the other really cool thing, and not broccoli, but you know, broccoli's easier at any rate, but the really cool thing is that broccoli is man-made. It doesn't grow in the wild. Um, it originated as a wild cabbage and we cultivated it down, or we being, you know, human beings, to a vegetable or that, that we like, something that we can eat. And there you go, broccoli. Broccoli is a cold weather crop. It prefers the lower temperatures. My room here is set at 70. Um, so my room actually probably doesn't get warmer than 70, uh, even on a good day. It's um, cold here in the northeast. We've had some really weird weather. That's, that's why I've had a couple times where my plants actually did get very cold over in the corner here. I've adjusted for that now. Um, but the water temperatures in my bucket stay right around 68. And you can see you've got a lot of nice bubbling in there. The roots for this looks, look gorgeous. And I will say that um, pH for broccoli is going to be around 6.0 to 6.8. I keep mine right in the middle there. Um, and it does well with these other plants. I have tomatoes in there and there is a strawberry. <laughs> you can tell that one's really loving the nutrients that are needed for these bigger plants. They're developing fruits and and uh, they really do need more than say the lettuces but overall I think we're doing pretty good here uh, I you can see I've taken out a lot of the large bib lettuce now I only have right now in here this bucket I've finally got a little bit of light coming to this romaine I did look back and see that the romaine seeds I had started were old they just were really sluggish to start and this was the last one that actually took so now that I've taken out the bib lettuce that was in a few of these here, we had a great meal. Um, and I still do have one of the bibs back here, just get, letting that grow up. That was the last one. That really is only a few weeks old, maybe two and a half. So I have a bunch of new lettuce coming along. This one, unfortunately, was down below. It was in a tray that I don't think the roots were quite, you can see they weren't quite long enough. Now they're doing better up here with lots of uh, aeration. But this lettuce is really cool because it's it's almost pink. It's a really neat colored lettuce. I'll pull out the package. It's um, one of the organic seeds I bought. I also bought a bunch of heirloom seeds. So we have a local shop here that has the heirloom seeds and also carries the Baker's Creek. So we should be having some really neat seeds coming along. Just as an update, my fish water lettuce, the lettuce still doing okay. I mean, it's obviously not as um, quick to grow as the others when they've had some nutrients. But hey, you know, for being just in the, look at these roots are doing pretty well for being grown in fish water. Actually, that one needs a refill. And then over here, again, doing pretty well. I've got some other lettuces in there. There's some cilantro, habanero peppers, pepper plants, and a cuke. So um, we'll be adding those to the five gallon DWC this weekend. Should be also getting the rail up and running. 
going to be um, adding to the whole process. So I do have this small LED here and um, using still the two T5 fluorescents. I also on the lower end have um, the T8 fluorescent. So I usually use that those for the new starts and um, pop them up here to the, the main shelf um, once I have a little bit of um, growth on them. My lights stay on um, 18 hours on and six hours off. I do have a fan. I don't know if yeah, you can probably see there. It just oscillates a little bit, just giving them a little bit of air circulation. It also helps to strengthen the stems um, outside. If these plants were outside, they'd be getting some air movement. So, so that's, I think, it for today. Um, once I get, I, I will mention at the end of this, I'm really looking for people to subscribe to the channel, to like if you have suggestions, um, comments. I'm happy to, to consider your suggestions. I, I think we all can get, improve what we do all the time. Um, I'm going to be adding some um, other circulating systems. So that'll be fun to, to see what I can actually do in this room. I've got a pretty large room here. so. We should be able to do quite a bit. Um, once I reach 50 subscribers, I will um, do a raffle for or a drawing for some heirloom seeds, which I'll run up to the store and get once I get 50 subscribers. So subscribe, like, and thanks again. Talk to you all soon. Until then, peace.